This makes my heart happy seeing y'all together. This is Hi, great. Michelle. How are you doing? Hi. I'm good. Listen, I got to jump right into the mess, though, because the no, fellas, no. I just talked to them, and I'm I so, there's so a sorry. feeling that you all were being kind of loud on purpose to mess up their interview, to take away their shine. Girls I'm upstaging the guys. <laughs> Why would they schedule these interviews on the same stage? That's a great know. question. That's so interesting because no, we kind like, of thought the exact yeah. same thing about <laughs> them. It seems like something they would do, not That's, us. That's they were loud, especially heard LeBlanc's squawk, and then um, <laughs> and then we. They're very quiet right now, which makes me nervous. Yeah, I know. I got nervous. Right? I'm like, shh. There's something horrible is gonna happen. LeBlanc just heard squawk. <laughs> maybe, maybe you should be a little nervous. I don't know, but maybe you should be a little I'm nervous. I'm scared. It was an incredible time. <laughs> we became best friends. Yeah, I'm gonna cry now. How amazing was it actually to be back? I know you guys are friends anyway. To be back in this set, on the set with you all, all together, kind of in this zone again. I had slept so well the night before. Woke up, I wasn't nervous at all, I was just feeling good. The first question, like, how do you feel? I was like, <gasps> and then started crying. And oh. then I walked on the set and I had no idea that seeing everything look exactly the same and these incredible <laughs> friends that even though I see these two a lot, yeah. I, I still was just like, Jenny, are you crying as much as me? And she's like, yeah. Like, <laughs> it was just the most emotional thing. And then today she can't stop crying, so. Okay, so it wasn't just Courtney, you all had that moment. Uh. <laughs> Yesterday, yeah. it was just a real oh, yeah. And once problem. her gates opened, then it was I just. I couldn't shut it yeah. off. You couldn't even, I did plug it. I didn't, no, nothing. When I watch the episodes, I'm laughing out loud because you all make me laugh so hard. Lisa, so I wonder then, um, do you think about in that moment, like, where would Phoebe be 2021? Or do can you even wrap your brain around, like, where she and everybody else would be today? Yeah, I mean. I've thought about it. I don't think it makes for great storytelling, but because I think they're all, <laughs> I think they're all just really happy, and then they get together once in a while. I don't yes. think they live super close together, but you know. Well, David said Joey would have ten kids, and he would be running a garage somewhere. <laughs> okay, that's an interesting direction. No for longer, Joey yes, to take. Uh, gave, up an actor and gave up acting. Gave up acting. I think that I would be uh, like. Chef, the competitive, um, you think? I, I was thinking maybe like um, a competitive mom at a school, like a mom that was always trying oh, to, you know, kids. organize the bake sale or something. Yeah. And her kids are probably too old and she just still wants to <laughs> make sure the bake sale goes well. I know you guys know that TV casts don't always, aren't always as close as you all are. So what was it about this experience with these people that bonded you like it did? And so you're all so close all these years later. All I can say is that there was something that was laid down at the very, very beginning that kind of went into our neuro pathways that we instantly, it was in our DNA that we were family, we were going to take care of each other. And it was without question, there was never competition, there was never, if there was ever a conflict, it was instantly addressed and handled. No, no eggshells. It was just something, and I—it's unexplainable. But we're the most grateful mm. women that I know who have been able to be a part of something like this. Oh my God! Here we go. Where's the tissue box? The cost of friends. <laughs> You know, the anticipation. We've been bugging y'all about this for a year, and now here it comes. So what can you tell us about this final version? Well, I think, sorry, did you no, ask No, 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 yeah, it, it doesn't, it doesn't. I, I, I think everyone is even more excited to have this experience having been locked in a home for so long and yeah. going through the last year was, this past year was extremely hard. Mm. Heartbreaking, hard just to in, to endure, and I think it's going to be an even more welcomed um, time for people to to see it. There's a lot of things that were planned before COVID happened, and I was so surprised in filming this how great it still was with all of the stipulations yeah. and yeah. It just how how you know Ben Winston was able to pull this off and bring and he's our producer. But yeah, and Ben Winston well, should get an award for yeah. everything. Yeah. Just FYI. Amazing. I love it. Amazing. Well, thank you guys so much. And I have Everything. to tell you, Courtney, David 
um, was here last week co-hosting with us and we decided if there's gonna be a new theme song to this reunion, Coco should re-record it and she should sing the opening to Friends because her voice is so dope. She has a yeah. beautiful voice, thank you. Love that idea.